Hey everybody, Rick with Window Film Revolution again. In this video, I'm gonna do a, uh, show a detailed bottom load install. So we're gonna show a detailed bottom load installation for those who uh, are curious in, as to it. So first thing that I've already done, um, I've already prepped this, scrubbed it, got everything off. So now we're gonna do the final prep. Um, now for me, this is how I like to do stuff. I like to take a couple popsicle sticks and I want to wedge this back a little bit. So I want to get a popsicle stick in here. I'm going to ease this back just a hair so I get this stick behind it. So I just use that to slide it. And that doesn't seem like much, but it's just a little bit, little bit of pull right there for you. And then I'm going to go ahead and slide a popsicle stick in here. And this will hold that back just a hair also. So I got a stick here, stick there that is a slight wedge. <clears throat> now, like I said, the reason I do that is to pull this back just a hair. You gotta remember, window film is really, really small. I mean, as far as how wide it is. Okay, so uh, this is the final. So in the final, I'm gonna take my little custom easy reach that I bent in half, I'm gonna slide it here. I'm gonna take this, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flush out this bottom seal. Now, what that does is that helps to, to push down any contamination that you couldn't squeegee. And not only am I gonna flush this, I'm gonna flush out these edges. Flushing, it does a couple things. Um, it flushes out any kind of contamination, but it also lubricates it and gets it ready for install. So you know you're wet back there. All right, so we'll drop this down. One other thing is, when you go down, always go back up just a hair. So bring it down and come back up. You don't want to just drop it down and leave it here. You want to drop it below it and rise it back up. The reason that you want to do that, a lot of windows shift. This one doesn't, but you want to get to the habit of doing the same thing every time. So roll it down and tap it back up where you want it. So this is where we want it. Now we've got it down to there. I'm going to take my blade cryos i'm going to rinse it the reason you rinse it make sure there's no sand or particles on it i'm going to drop this down below the seal just like this now sometimes if the seal's tight you just take this and drop it in use this to drop it i didn't need to on this it wasn't that tight i'm going to slide it to there i'm going to grab my rag i'm going to wipe this i'm going to wipe this and what that does is when it's this close, it's gonna wipe off any dirt off of here so you don't have stuff falling down. It's also gonna wipe off, wipe off dirt from the edge of this glass right here so you don't have stuff coming down into your tent. So every time you squeeze, you generally wanna wipe it um, or just sling it like I just did. Alrighty. All right, so we've got that. Now we want to squeegee all that, squeegee all that. Like I said, this is the final. So I'm gonna take my squeegee in here and I'm just gonna follow it down. And I'm gonna continue going all the way. Remember again, we want to make sure underneath that seal is plenty wet. This is a bottom load video. So the bottom load, you gotta have plenty of slip, but it's not just how much you spray it. The slip itself has to be enough. Um, if, you're at, if you wanna know what I use for slip, I use Dawn. And I think I use about a half a cup of Dawn to three gallons. I have to check that again, it's somewhere in that area. Um, make sure, listen, solution's cheap. Who cares if you waste a bunch? If you get a dry spot on your film, it's going to cause you problems. It's better to waste a lot of this. I can sit here all day. It don't matter. It's better to waste this than it is to get a sticky spot on your film. All right. So, um, you don't want to, I don't like touching the film itself. So, I come up under here and just let it sit right there on my hand. So, I have not touched the sticky side of the film. I'm just going to walk over like I said, if, if I wasn't doing a video, this would be faster. The whole point of this is just to show you, so I'm gonna get this in. Now with this blade tool, I can, remember window film's super thin, it doesn't take a lot. 
So as I'm pushing down, I'm actually pulling on this at the same. So I can still use my left hand to pull that seal back and to position the film. Now, right here's one of my points I gotta be careful of. So I'm gonna lift, I'm gonna pull this back and slide. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this side's in some more so I can get this over. So we're gonna just slightly ease it down and to the left, down and to the left. And as you'll see, this corner's about ready. So it's close enough. I'm gonna push here and get it past that. Now I'm gonna push down. And remember, as I'm pushing down, I want to keep all this pulled. So if you pull right here, it might have some tension here. So you, you just got to be uh, aware of what's going on. Now I've got this below the seal now. So this is now not needed. I'm going to pull it back and pull it out. And I'm just going to continue easing this film down in. And like I said, if your slip solution's right, it, it will literally be this easy. If your slip solution is not right, you're gonna have a bad day and you're gonna be cussing or something like that. So now I'm gonna slide it over, get this situated, make sure I go beneath the seals. I'm pushing out on the glass, separating the glass from the seal. I'm pushing out as I'm pushing in, or pushing over, excuse me. All right, we've got that in. Now I need to bring this up to line this edge up. We're gonna bring that up just like that. Now, I'm not worried about shaving this. You wanna get a close up of that edge, that's how it's gonna look. Um, we don't need to shave it, it's a great cut. So, let's, uh, let's get going on this thing. And like I said, this can be done much faster. The purpose of this video is not to show you how fast it can be done or not be done. It's just to show you what I do at any speed. As you get better, you can get faster. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna start squeezing out. And I'm, I'm doing really light strokes right now because the bottom loading, there's so much slip. Well, to do it the way I do it, you gotta use a lot of slip. And uh, so the film just does not tack down as soon as you squeeze it. If you're top loading, you lose, you're using a lot less slip, it'll tack right down. Bottom loading is not just gonna tack right down. If you're doing it right, it's not gonna tack right down. <laughs> so be aware of that. Like I said, I like to wipe my tools a lot, especially these hard cards. You don't want any grit or sand or anything else on them. Now I'm putting my thumb here to hold the film as I'm squeegeeing. All right, that's good. We're gonna go ahead and hit this corner and go up. I'm holding the film, keeping it from moving. Pushing up, same thing here. Gonna push up there on that corner, hold the film. And I'm gonna tap that up. <clears throat> all right, now we got all of this, which was under here. That's what we gotta get out now. And remember, we cut the film to where it's way below the seal, so we still got plenty to go underneath that seal. When you're squeegeeing, you want to pretend like you're, like it's a lawnmower. You're going, you know, if you squeegee here, you want to come and overlap this a little bit, squeegee, overlap, squeegee, overlap. That prevents air pockets from getting caught in there. <clears throat> All right, so we've got that. We're gonna again, hold the film down. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna go all the way across, pushing nice, even pressure. Hold the film, come down, do the same thing the other way. Now we're gonna drop it. We're gonna check the top because it's probably moved. Moved just a hair, didn't move much. All right, so that's a good thing. All right, so now, we're gonna start really just squeezing it. Um, you wanna make multiple, multiple passes. The more moisture you get out now, the better, especially in the future. The more moisture you get out now, the less chances you have of a customer, you know, calling you back in a couple of days, hey, there's a spot, 
you know, because you didn't get some moisture out and it's something that's gonna dry out, but they don't know that. And they're gonna call you about it. So it's better just to get all of it squeezed out that you can right now. Because it takes a lot more time to schedule them to come back, to look at it, to understand what their problem is, even if you don't have to do nothing to it. It still takes up more time than just doing it right the first time. And again, this video is mainly for new tenors. If you're an older tenor, you might get something out of it too. If you're a newer tenor, you need to be paying super close attention. Just my opinion. And we will go through this one more time. Same that we did last time. And one more for just, just to be safe. Can't do it too much. We're gonna check the top seal, seal's still good. And that is a detailed video on how Rick Tallman bottom loads a window. I do this with each and every vehicle. Um, I don't always use the little cryos blade tool. Sometimes I freestyle bottom load it, but that, if you just get to a system of doing the same things, again, this is a detailed video on bottom loading. Have a good one.